This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. So day two in Croatia is coming up. So we're set for the start of our sixth match of the ECS, the Assassins and the Warriors. Here we go. First ball of day two is coming up. Whoa, That's a whoa, lovely hey. delivery to start off. Gets that one to swing in quite a bit. Yeah, good start there for Robin Sharma. Great first ball to the aforementioned Noshad Babu. Yeah, just getting a nice, gentle breeze. It's just lovely for swing bowling first thing in the morning. This one is hooked away and doesn't have enough to go the distance. It most certainly does. That's gone for a six. It's the first boundary of our second day of cricket here in Zagreb. Yeah, brilliant shot. Wonderful stuff. Just rocks back, helps it away over fine leg. It's gone for a six. Yep. Early swing here this morning. Oh, what a shot. Sweet sound off the bat, goes away for a six. I mean, they heard the crack of the bat all the way over in split. Yeah, the crack of uh, leather against Willow to start off early in the morning. No real surprise. Now, Shep Babi, I had the pleasure of watching this guy go about his business all the way back in Estonia. And I tell you what, when he gets going, it is scary. Oh, this one's gone up in the air. Does it have enough to go over the rope? Not quite. It's going to be four runs. Just takes a bounce. Right in front of that boundary rope. Yep, another four. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just clips that one perfectly off his pads. Brilliant shot. Just closes the face of his bat right at the end. Oh, lovely. Wonderful shot. Very similar to the previous stroke. This one goes away for four behind square leg. Again, just... Uh, just too straight. That's it, literally all it is. Well, for myself. And then Nish also didn't exactly have the easiest of, uh, of ways in yesterday. This one over the top. And this is full and slashed and slashed away hard. And I uh, think this one has probably gone all the way. I'm not too certain. We'll have to double check. Let's have a look. There's a nice shot away. To very wide, though. Throw the kitchen sink at it and some. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what, I can't even see where that rope is. <laughs> I can't. Where's the rope? Yeah, it's so hard to locate the rope. You can just see it somewhere down, down there. Right? That's really tough this morning. Oh, wonderful. Absolutely glorious. That's going to go away for four runs. A big chase by the fielder on its square leg, but he's never going to get to that one. A pain. That's all it was. Oh, a bit of width on offer over there, and that's going to be cut away for four runs. A great shot there by Babu. Danny Killer, can he finally get a legal delivery to take away? Struck straight down the ground, hard into the ice cube. And what a brilliant one-handed take. Now that, I hope we managed to get that one on the comms cam. This is worth replay. That was sensational. Oh, gets that one absolutely spot on. And oh, well, could this be a run out? He just side foots that one onto the stumps. This could be pretty close. And most of his teammates are pretty excited and think they might have the wicket over here. Let's have a look at this side on. Yeah, I think I think uh, you don't have to be a body language expert to work this one out. I think he's gone for all money. Yep, short by a fair old distance. And that's an excellent boot to uh, remove the dangerous Babu. And what a way to go for him. I don't get it. It's a weird field. Yeah, this is going to be played out towards square leg. And it goes over the fielder's head and for six runs. It's the over with a six. And it's another expensive over here. The Zagreb Assassins will find themselves in a very strong position halfway through this innings. Of course, it's a good chance to... An interesting one. As we struck away over long on, and it's going to go for a six. <laughs> well, they held the pose for quite a while outside the boundary rope, but Alan Magdalenich just watched that one sail over his head. Yeah, well, the pitch doesn't come into the equation when you don't use it. This one has worked away towards long on, and oh, well, that was a very odd fielding effort. I mean, really shouldn't have gone for it with his feet, and he ends up, now once again, just giving a bit too much width, and that's going to go away for another boundary. So Danikula, who of course brought up his second career 50, he will follow it up. No, this is played out towards square leg, and did that have enough to go over the rope? It certainly did. Danikula. 
ends the over with a six. Massive over, 18 runs off it, and the flow of runs continues. Yeah, the onslaught is just going and going and going, and at the moment the quietest over was. They're really trying to rush through these overs. They've got to get a move on here. Looks to go big, and it's going to go over the fielder. That's going to be a six there for Sathi Davy. Waited for that, rocked back, and pumped it over Cal Corner. Yeah, just uh, hit me bowling, really. It is like bowling machine deliveries. They just sit up, not really pushing it through for any sort of zippy pace. He's got to try and get a response here. Come back to live action. Oh, that's a poor delivery. That is a poor delivery. A full toss just on the pads, and that's going to be helped away. Hits the scorer's tent as well. Huge six there. Yeah, not the best delivery, is it, realistically? And that's been the downfall for this uh, Warriors side. They've just sort of been bowling Gundy ball after Gundy ball. Over, went for 11 in this first. High up in the air. Does it have the distance on it? And yes, it does. It most certainly does. That goes away for a six. Great shot. And every time they hit a boundary, that's going to be valuable time coming off the clock as well. Yeah, I think they've almost given up on it here. They're not exactly rushing. No one seems too pressed to try and get through this here. So six runs to start. Goes big once more. Goes big once more. Back-to-back -back sixes to start out this over. Some sensational hitting here by Sathi Devi. Yeah, again, it just sits up, though. And he just has to get the elevation on it. No worry about the power. He knows he's got the strength behind him. And he gets enough on it. Six more again. What's the response? Outside edge, and does it have enough to go towards the boundary? Not quite. And oh, could be a chance for a run out. It isn't the most convincing appeal, but the big thing worth noting is they've managed to get the over in a time. I mean, at one point, we thought they had no chance of bowling these overs in time. Yep, yeah, you seem convinced that he's probably out here. Yep, yeah, bats up in the air, doesn't slide it in. And that is going to be a wicket, so there you go. There's confirmation of it. Oh, that's just clipped the leg, stomp along the way. So the captain gets a wicket off his very first ball. Took plenty of pace off that delivery. And Balage was already halfway through his shot when the ball went past him. Stayed low as well, so <laughs> that was a bit of a nightmare for the batter. Got him. It's another wicket there for us. Yes, another one that's just stayed rather low and... Well, we thought Balagi might be out earlier. He's certainly out over here. This time he departs for a golden duck. Yeah, it's another one that's just stayed really low and struck the leg stump. Yeah, barely gets above the knee roll. And, uh, well, there's a bit of confusion whether or not the, la the last wicket was. But uh, this definitely is uh, a very early morning. A good morning to Mr. Derek, who, of course, uh, out here. Uh, early use. You can see he's made the, the, his way over to Croatia. I'm going to work this one away. Kadian hits it straight towards the fielder at square leg. And it's going to be a single to end the over. So it's the quietest over off the innings. Only five runs come off it in the end. The only over in single digits over the course of this innings. But the Assassins will still end up with a really strong total on the board here. They put up 149 runs. Welcome back for the second innings. And of course, the Assassins put up a great total on the board, 150. Here we go. First ball. This is just pushed towards mid-off, and they will pick up a single off the first ball. So Singh is off the mark on his very first delivery. Is there something there? I thought I heard a nick, and yep, that's going to be confirmed by the umpire and they lose their first wicket here the Warriors and he went for a big swing and yeah you could just hear the nick along the way and that's going to be a wicket an early wicket will fall yeah backing away looking to make some room you can see some clear deviation there as the ball strikes his top edge along the way 
So that just shows you how tricky it was for them there. However, signs and shots like these will certainly help. This is a lovely pickup from Kumar and gets his first boundary nicely. Yeah, it's a lowish full toss. He works that one away towards mid-wicket. Oh, just gets that one away towards fine leg. Stepped across. And it's just going to trickle over the rope and go away for a four. So boundaries at last. Didn't see too many boundaries over the course of this innings. Watch that little shuffle over there. I mean, he might as well just start his run-up at the end of that pitch. No reason to have it that long. Oh, well. Has he gone for a, a run-out attempt over here? Let's just have a look at this from camera three. Oh, he's he gone. be gone. He's now, gone. Has the umpire declared the ball dead over here? That's yeah, the question mark. This is the question. I think he's gone here, folks. I think this is going to be the end of Aman Kumar. Yeah, it is out. And it probably should be and is. And there you go. The news comes through. And that will be the end of, uh, as I said, Aman Kumar. And that's just lazy from the batter. Really is. Oh, it was just a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. But we're here now. So that's all that matters. It looks to go big over here and over the field right long on. That's going to go for a six. So where does that come from? I haven't seen a big shot like that in a while. That's a nice shot. Lovely pickup in the slot, though, uh, from, the, from Satyan, the bowler. Yeah, just sort of in the area. And swings and swings hard. 74 off 28 for a point now. Well, I say try and capitalize. He tries to get funky. He's going to run himself out in the end anyway. Uh, this is suicidal from Badati. It really is. Tries to go for... Uh, well, I go for the old reverse Malachi, but then just sort of doesn't really know where it is. Sets off, and it's barely got away from the crease. And uh, and that, unfortunately, is not going to be the uh, be the best way to go. So Badati will have to fall. Yeah, wicket to fall again. Well, this one lofted up in the air. Could be two in two here. Yeah, and will be very well held out in the deep. Got the sunnies on. And, uh, well, they were certainly used in full effect. So a golden quacker. As this is Robin Sharma will go. And oh dear, oh dear. It's just not working for the Warriors at the moment. And things just starting to, to sort of crumble beneath them really. This really isn't the best of effort. So there's Derek. Good morning to you again. He's been pretty busy this morning. A couple of times he's been out there. If you go a little further east towards Osijek, I believe they have a bit more Hungarian influence. And I think you just, you've seen all these uh, different um, cultures that have influenced this country and uh, made it so unique. Well, it looks like a batter is going to get retired over here. Uh, I'm just going to confirm the identity of the batter, Katka. but if I had to guess, yeah, it's going to be Kadka. It's uh, Twinkle Toes is. himself. <laughs> it's Twinkle Toes goes for none off of seven. And this one's going to go up in the air. Can they get a wicket up the last ball of the innings? No, they won't. Just lands between three fielders, and that is going to be the end of this match as the Warriors are defeated. The Assassins win this by 103 runs. That's almost a test match margin in a T10 game. An absolutely enormous victory. Yeah.